Larry? Uh, yeah, so if we think of unions in the context of capitalism, is that one gives the other life. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the only reason why they're human, unions is because somebody didn't know the wrong, difference between right and wrong behavior. So there was an injustice that took place. And so they'll come, that's the continual struggle, whether it's whether you're government or whether it's privately owned. And I think that if we if we talk about the whole concept of socialism, I mean, it's an ism, you know, the doctrines and ideas of how society should be uh, organized. Should it be on a social basis or, or, or in terms of capital? The Republicans, their ideal is that is that you know, Russian Limbaugh gang, that capitalism and individual liberties go hand in hand, that anything that interferes with one's uh, um, movement toward their individualism that <clears throat> is socialism. Anything that's in opposition to so there's no real clear definition is that you just have this opposition. So we're, and I consider myself neither a capitalist nor a socialist, but that third that third way. There's this thing that's coming that's that's taking place before our very eyes and with, with no name for it that we're all part of, and that we're trying to define what it means to be, you know, it's the whole idea, it's crazy, the whole idea that if you say well, automobiles are obsolete, therefore we should, uh, you know, let's, let's figure out a different transportation, put out all these auto workers out of work, and send them a check. So, uh, instead of being a socially responsible decision, the capitalists would say, no, you're, you're, you're free local. Mm -hmm. So people are now thinking in the, in the, in the socially as possible in context, we're always thinking about there's always this anti government thing is that, and, and we are the government, but, but, you know, whether we by approval or disapproval, <laughs> that it's, it's the reality of our lives. And that most Americans do not see themselves as part of that process. Therefore, they don't know that their standard of living, this thing called middle class, was based on exploitation of the whole world. Mm -hmm. And this exploitation is. is Come to the point where it's the droppings of the system is completely destroying our humanity, humanity in terms of relationships. So we're we're all talking about what is the new man and the new woman of the 21st century, and so what we do and how we interact with each other is that it comes to the point where you can actually say that if you walk out of your house and pick up a piece of trash, that's actually a revolutionary act. You know that's the insanity of that is, is very real. And so that uh, the, the small, small acts that we each one of us do have a huge impact on everything else that's going on. So that I think that's, that's, we get our inspiration from that. So what are the ethical principles? You know, what are the values? What are the things that we value that we can call ourselves human? And uh, what are the forms that, that we make this all come to life? And I think that's what the Ball Center in a lot of ways is. Mm -hmm. These are transformational conversations, and which means that we we go home and say, "What does that mean in our own life?" Mm -hmm. I mean, these small things that we do.